I wanted to talk about my challenges today. Things are pretty easy in the house. Normal challenges like mowing the lawn, things like that. But they're not easy out in public. I don't just mean the traffic, the people cutting you off. Even though I don't live in a big city. But the things that people do. So today I controlled myself pretty much. I didn't say anything to people when they were doing some things. I didn't say anything to the mother of the teenage son when I was in the drive through of Goodwill to donate some stuff. He was uh, rearranging his reproductive organs over his clothes. I guess he was uncomfortable. I didn't say a word. I know people don't want me to say anything, right? What was she going to respond? Okay, I let that go. Then I went to the uh, art museum. They had a drawing class, and so I sat there for a while. They had a model. And after an, inter an intermission there, the ladies in the class started talking about another lady who wasn't there, who was very ill, going into hospice, and they started listing all, all her physical conditions. And I'm a nurse, and I'm thinking, what about HIPAA laws, privacy laws for, for medical records? And they're just saying all this stuff. And they didn't know me. They didn't know who I was, what I was. Am I a nurse? Or am I a homeless woman? Am I a rich woman who has horses here and, uh, and cattle? I mean, they knew nothing. And they're talking about this woman's personal stuff in front of me. It was amazing. And they were talking in front of the young student who was modeling also. By the way, it was a model with clothes on. OK. So then I needed to go to the bank and uh, talk to my banker. And I wanted to say something to her because I saw this, um, this high caffeine drink on her desk. And I have a relative who's so addicted to those caffeine drinks that he can't even sit still and talk to you. You know, he's just so. I controlled myself in front of the Goodwill. I controlled myself with the art museum, but I couldn't do control myself again. So I said to the young woman, the banker, please be careful with that stuff because uh, I know someone who's uh, really messed up because of it, that caffeine. She said, yeah, her child's sick and she's been losing sleep and she doesn't have it too often. Anyway, so that's my... Uh, challenge of uh, not giving too much advice. People don't want it. Uh, I was told, uh, or I read somewhere that UFA means unasked for advice. So I have to try and remember that. Now, these, these are little problems with, you know, how the public behaves. And I have no problem with enormous problems. I have no problem with the uh, people getting into a fight in the street and somebody has a gun and somebody wants to call the police and, and you know, the person looks like maybe they're schizophrenic and maybe they're going to commit a crime. I have no problem. I get right in there and, and I talk in a motherly way to them. And so far, all these years, it's worked out. People get distracted by the things I say to them, and I guess by the way I uh, dress and, and, and talk, and they just stop their, their anger and their whatever they're doing, their aggression. But it's these other simple things that I have a terrible time. So maybe I'm just one of those people that just gets really, really inspired by a big challenge and, and and rises to the occasion. So uh, we're all different. And I have this mini, mini, mini video that I took at the uh, art museum because I had to, I wanted to show this one uh, piece of work there, but 
I had to censor it. So you'll see what I did. I censored it the, um, for the mini video. I think it's less than a minute. And uh, the art di director helped me. She gave me the materials to do it. And she was amused. And that was very nice of her. So look for it. I'll start to upload it hopefully in the next few minutes.